Hey y'all, this is Tom Campbell from Destiny Unbound Angling. Um, this last fly that I'm going to tie for you is the Tim Borski's Craft Fur Shrimp. It's uh, one of my favorite flies for redfish. Uh, has a little bit, it's a lot more subtle than the poly bear shrimp that has so much flash in it. Um, it's very similar to the Zima in its construction um, and uh, using craft fur and strung hackles and such. Um, this is the same hook I tied on for the used for the poly bear. It's a Gamagatsu Stinger. Um, I don't know the exact number for it. It's just a Gamagatsu Stinger. It's very thin wire, super sharp. If this thing goes into a fish's mouth, it's as good as caught. I mean, it sinks in uh, to a fish's mouth just like it's butter. So, um, I love these hooks. Uh, we're going to start out by um, putting some bead chain eyes on. I'm going to zoom in real fast for you. Uh, black bead chain, um, medium. Uh, you can use silver or gold. Uh, makes no difference. Uh, but like I like black. So I'm going to just X wrap it on there. And I'm leaving enough on the nose here to um, I'm leaving enough on the nose here to uh, allow for a weed guard. So I'm going to go ahead and do my X wraps. Make sure that that's parallel, perpendicular with the shank and square. Um, I'm going to put a drop of Zappa Gap on this guy. Make sure that the B chain eyes stay in place. Tim Borski, um, man, he's really on to something with his fish pattern, with fly time patterns. He, uh, imitates bait really well and if you don't have his DVDs they're really good as far as we'll do a couple halo wraps uh, as far as explaining how to tie his flies um, so there you go there's a little bit of a drop of um, Zappa gap hanging off the end on the bottom, so I'm just going to use this plastic package and get rid of it. Okay, now we got our bead chain eyes on. Uh, we're going to go with the back of the hook. Right where the uh, shank starts to bend. And we're going to tie in some craft fur. Uh, I'm going to zoom out so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, this is canned craft fur. And whenever I'm making a tail with, with craft fur, seems like I'm tying, uh, uh, like a, you know, clip off a bunch and then never enough so I ended up having to clip off more so I think I'm going to need more than that but I'm going to get the schmutz out all the under fur see that is a little it's a little sparse so I'm gonna have to clip off some more here another hank you 
can go through these and go through these patches of crap fur pretty quick. So I can't remember this part right here that we left open, like the in front of the bead chain eyes is left open for a reason. We're gonna put a weed guard on there, which I'm not gonna show you, but I mean if you can uh, if you can imagine I mean all you do is tie in a piece of mono in front on wrap it down on that area. So you know Still gonna get a little bit more. This crafter has a lot of action in the water. tail that's about um, I'm going to zoom in now I'm going to make a tail that's about about twice the length of the shank of the hook I'm going to tie this Pin trap it on on top. Let's see if that's what we want. That's what we want. Excess. Cover of all this tan craft fur that I just clicked off, clipped off, and then uh, I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Start making a bump underneath the uh, this fur. I'm gonna get it to cock up a bit. I'm even gonna do a little halo around it to. Get it to cock up like I want.